Welcome back tonight, fans, to another edition of the Pete Zanella Show. It's been a couple weeks since we've been with you due to Hurricane Sandy and whatnot. But as always, we're joined by the head coach of the women's basketball program, Pete Zanella. Coach, how are you? Hey, pretty good, Chris. Uh, since we last talked to you, um, you hadn't played yet, but now this past weekend you opened the season with a pair of losses at Siena at Syracuse, unfortunately, but could you just talk about what you saw from your team during those two games? Well, you know, we had some good moments in each game. We got off to a good lead against Siena. We weren't able to, uh, you know, keep that lead going. Rebounding was kind of the big issue for us this weekend. We turned the ball over too much. Uh, we did show some progress against Siena on the boards as they were number two last year in the nation in rebounding. We got ended up getting out-rebounded by five, but for a long time in that game we had out rebounded Syracuse so we know there's things we got to work on and uh, those two big issues right now are taking better care of the ball and, and being a better rebounding team. Um, individually who did you feel like played uh, well the first two games? Well you know Erica Livermore had a uh, double doubles in both games and she probably could have finished off a little better inside but she did a good job on the boards. Uh, Danielle Pankey was had a very solid game at Siena she was in a little foul trouble um, up at Syracuse and Stephanie Isaacs in Syracuse game really provided us with some long distance shooting hitting three threes and and providing also some rebounding. Tori Childs was solid in both games uh, coming off the bench and getting us you know some low post buckets. Uh, now you're coming home to play this Thursday for the home opener what's what's the difference when your team play is playing at home compared to playing on the road? Well you want to win your home games we only have a couple of them here the first semester so you got to take care of your home court advantage everyone has a definite home court advantage. Teams win probably about 65-70% of their home games compared to, you know, on the road it's much tougher. So you got to do whatever we can to win these home games. Army's a very good team. They're an excellent rebounding team. Uh, they're a solid team that beat us last year. So we, we got our, our hands full with this tough Army team. As you said, you have Army at home Thursday, then followed by Columbia. Now, what, what kind of challenges overall do those teams uh, present you guys? Well, Army is known as a very tough team. They're a dominant rebounding team so far this year, and they have two all-conference wings. But they also have some really nice post players, and they got a freshman point guard that's shooting the ball well. we got to challenge every three-point shot. Um, they, they, they hit a pretty good percentage, and they take a lot of threes, but they also have a good inside game. So defense and rebounding are probably two very important parts of, uh, of our game here against Army. The other thing is we got to really take care of the basketball against Army. There's not as many possessions in, 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 when you play like an Army FDU game. It seems like the last four or five have been pretty low scoring games um, so that you can't turn it over. You got to really value each possession. Okay. Well, thanks for, uh, for joining us on for today and uh, good luck tomorrow against thanks, Army. And uh, we'll see you all next week for another edition of the Pete Sinella Show.